The British painter, born in 1802 in the United Kingdom, J. M. W. Turner, is widely recognized as one of the greatest marine painters of the Romanticism era. During the Romanticism period, Turner's artworks often displayed the power of nature, light, and atmosphere in maritime settings, reflecting the movement's focus on individual emotion and imagination. Turner was particularly influenced by the Dutch painters Ludolf Backhuizen and Willem van de Velde, and he gained mastery over marine subjects by copying their works. Turner first exhibited at the Royal Academy in 1822 and contributed a portrait of a gentleman. But it was his paintings of naval subjects that earned him acclaim, including, Ship in a Storm Firing a Signal of Distress, and, A Dutch Fleet at the 17th Century Coming to Anchor in a Breeze. Turner's style continued to develop, becoming freer in the use of colors and bolder in expressing emotions. He was recognized not only for his technical achievements but also for his important contributions to marine painting. Turner's friends and co-workers aren't known, but he was a pupil of his father, who was also a painter. His influence can be seen in the work of artists who followed, and his contribution to the painting school is significant and enduring. George Philip Ray Nagel was born in 1802 in the United Kingdom. He was an English marine painter and the youngest son of Ramsay Richard Ray Nagel. Ray Nagel gained much experience in marine subjects by copying the works of the Dutch painters Ludolf Backhuizen and Willem van de Velde. In 1822, he sent a portrait of a gentleman to the Royal Academy, and in 1824 he contributed, Ship in a Storm Firing a Signal of Distress and Calm, followed by, A Dutch Fleet at the 17th Century Coming to Anchor in a Breeze, in 1825, and other naval subjects in the following years. Ray Nagel was present on board the Mosquito at the Battle of Navarino in 1827. His experiences inspired him to publish Illustrations of the Battle of Navarin in 1828, followed by Illustrations of the Occurrences at the Entrance of the Bay of Patras between the English Squadron and Turkish Fleets 1827. He also painted incidents of these battles, which he exhibited in 1829, 1830, and 1831. Ray Nagel was present with the English fleet on the coast of Portugal in 1833, and his picture of Admiral Napier's glorious triumph over the Miguelite squadron was one of his contributions to the Royal Academy in 1834. Unfortunately, Rhea Nagel's career was cut short when he died at the young age of 33 at 11 Great Randolph Street, Camden Town, London, on December 6, 1835. Despite his short life, Ray Nagel left an impressive legacy with his works both in oils and watercolors. His paintings of shipping and marine pieces exhibited great promise. Rhea Nagel's works appeared at the British Institution and occasionally at the Society of British Artists. In conclusion, J. M. W. Turner was a renowned British marine painter known for his ability to capture nature's power, light, and atmosphere in maritime settings, showcasing individual emotion and imagination. His mastery over marine subjects and evolution of style earned him critical acclaim for his technical achievements and significant contributions to marine painting. Turner's influence can be seen in the work of artists who followed him, making his contribution to the painting school significant and enduring. George Philip Ray Nagel, a talented English marine painter, also contributed to the art world before his early death. His paintings exhibited great promise in both oils and watercolors, depicting shipping and marine scenes with precise detail. Despite his short career, Ray Nagel left an impressive legacy with his works appearing at many prominent institutions. <laughs>